just spent the better part of this afternoon at Costco. I didn't meal plan today, you guys. Well, I meal planned like a, a week ago and then we went on a little trip. So I still have some of those meals to make. I've just been making like convenience meals, like buying the same similar items and going for my go-to meals like pastas and stuff. It's not as exciting as when I do meal plan. You guys know I love my macro-friendly foods. It's just like, special and everything tastes better and it changes things up and it's, it gives me a little more variety. Variety is the spice of life and I just have not been giving that to my family lately. <laughs> it's all about ebbs and flows, right? So I went to Costco. I might run to Publix too because I do need to get a few things from Publix and uh, that's pretty much it. I'll show you everything that I got from Costco for now and then maybe I'll show, maybe whatever. I don't know what else you'll see but it'll be plenty. I got a basket of meats down here and then up here, oh, it's a massive haul by the by. Alex said, I, we were bringing everything in and Alex said, this is my favorite Costco haul that you've ever done. <laughs> and I'll explain why as we go in. I think, uh, I think you'll understand when I explain more. But this is something that was in their like packaged foods section. And so I grabbed it for lunch it is Southwest wrap with rotisserie chicken. It was really good. I ate one, Alex ate half of one slash Wentworth was eating. I also got uh, lunch for Alex on the way home. He wanted a hot dog. So he, he's just been nibbling at everything. So he tried it, he liked it. The sauce I didn't give a try to because I was eating it in the car if I'm being honest, but uh, I'm sure it's great. A little trick for this, because I used to make these for parties and stuff, a little trick to this to make it like the Southwest style, just get some mayonnaise and then add taco seasoning to it and that gives it just a punch of flavor and like, hmm, a little something extra. Moving over here is uh, the main food groups, okay? I'm out of onions. I'm out of a lot of stuff in the house. That's why this haul is so massive. It's been a while since I have did a huge trip to Costco, so this was it. And sad to report, I didn't get paper products because I took Alex's car and it's smaller. And I was like, I don't know if I'll even be able to fit all this stuff in it, let alone a huge package of Charmin and a huge package of paper towels and all of that. So I do have to go back. Wolfgang's birthday party is soon, so I'll get some accoutrements for that. But while I'm there, I'm probably gonna stock up on the paper products. So with that being said, I did get some onions. I'm out of onions uh, completely. I don't even think I have one onion in the whole dang house. What is my life? And I've been really bad about keeping track of things like beans and stuff. So I do need to go to Publix to get like spaghetti sauce and beans and just like the staple pantry items. Uh, but anyway, I got a lot of onions, two bags of onions. I also got some lettuce you know, just salads and stuff. And I feel like we should be eating more leafy green vegetables than I actually am. So I don't know, I figured I'd buy some lettuce. No real plans with that. Oh, I guess I put this in the fruit and vegetable section. I guess it goes kind of because it is a fruit, gluten, nut and dairy free. Well, I would expect it to be because the only thing that should be in here is apples and bananas. And I think that's it. So strawberry and cinnamon, right? But we all know. We're American, we like to add a lot of chemicals to our food, so let's see what's in this crap. Oh, actually, pretty good. Juice concentrate is the only obscure ingredient. All right, everything else is al natural. All right, I got some of these little baby oranges. Nothing too special about it, we just needed some. Been loving them lately because it is their season. It's their time to shine. They're out of season during the summer months and I mean not for us because everything's like GMO these days and we get it all year long and it makes it less special but um, always happy to have these especially when they're in season. And then I grabbed some kiwis, you guys. I've been making a lot of reels slash a lot of, what do they call them on YouTube, shorts. So I just, I do one, it's one in the same, right? So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them. I. I haven't posted them all to YouTube, but I'm getting there. I try to post a bundle at a time, so it's not, you you know, you can watch like several at a time. But anyway, I digress. I saw one where they made a kiwi look like a Frankenstein, and I was like, yep, doing that. That seems cool. I'll, I'll try to attempt it. I don't know if I'll be successful, but that is my plan. And then aside from that, we just love eating kiwis because they're packed full of nutrients and flavor. I got some green beans. Just really simple vegetable for eating <laughs> and then celery sticks got these because it's bu chicken buffalo chicken season it is football season and when's the last time you had a celery 
It's, they're so fragrant and so good. I just, they're wonderful. And then I grabbed some apples. You know what's funny is like the person you are on vacation, is that the same person you are on a normal average every day? Because I'll tell you something, on vacation I eat an apple a day. I'm like, why don't I do this more often? <laughs> apples are delicious. So I got a bundle of apples, crisp pink apples, and the kids love them too, obviously, but I normally cut them up for the kids. I mean, I, you know, like I normally offer them to the kids and then not myself. I don't know what I'm thinking. You know, I just put myself last and that's a problem. Hey, speaking of putting myself last, this salad kit, it's one of my favorites. It's a Mediterranean crunch chopped salad kit. It's a very salty salad kit. So if you're wondering, what does that taste like? Salt. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> the feta cheese is very salty. The crunchy bits are salty. The dressing itself is very salty but it's like the perfect amount of salt. I don't know how to explain it. It's an oily uh, broccoli cauliflower, flatbread strips, red cabbage, feta cheese carrots, balsamic basil vinaigrette. Oh my gosh, to die for it. This is one of my favorite salads that Costco sells, but like once I eat a whole bag, I'm good for a while, you know? Okay, moving on, I got watermelon. Meredith has been asking for watermelon. I'm like, no, we have melon, we have honeydew. So I said, okay, your wish is my command. We'll see how good this looks. Um, I'm not very good about picking out good ones, uh, but I don't know, it's not watermelon season, but it's been a really long time since I got a good watermelon and I feel like it's a very few and far between, but uh, we'll take our chances with this. I also grabbed, um, what are these called? Oh, my brain. Starts with a C, cucumber. I grabbed some English cucumbers for Eleanor. She loves these. I pack them in her lunch almost every single day. And then I got some grapes. These looked good, table grapes. I, I'm wanting some black grapes because I want to make like a spooky breakfast board. Purple would work, purple would suffice, but black would be better. So if I go to Publix, I'm hoping to get some black. I also got some strawberries. We just love having strawberries around here. Again, not in season, but we live in America, so it's not like, even if it's not in season, they're still available. They just don't taste as good, but they taste good enough. They kind of actually smell artificial. I don't know what that's about, but whatever. And then I grabbed a bundle of bananas. That's just a go-to, it's an easy one. And these are very yellow. I don't know. I should have grabbed two bundles, one green one, one yellow, but I just didn't. My cart was getting so full. And then some mushrooms. I kind of want to prep some breakfasts because um, I don't know why, but I have a really hard time just eating breakfast myself. Like I'll make it for the kids, but then I don't eat it myself. And so I figured if I have some mushrooms, eggs, Okay, here's the thing, when I go on a trip, and I know I keep talking about it, but I'm like a completely different person, I'm like, oh my gosh, food is available for me, and I don't have to make it, and I don't have to clean up, and I don't have to prep, it's an amazing thing. So I figured maybe if I meal prep a bunch at one time, uh, that will work to my benefit, because I love eating eggs and salsa verde with some spinach and veggies inside. That's all it takes. It's simple, but I don't do it. Like, I don't put in the effort for myself, so I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, um, well, maybe that's all the veggies. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Who cares? It's fine. Moving on to the taste of the South. This tastes great. Hot. I guess we put this in a slow cooker. So it's essentially the sausage and cheese dip that I make. It's sausage, cream cheese, and salsa. I use salsa, you can use a can of Rotel. And then just mix it up. This looks like it has the yellow cheese in it, the cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna see how this tastes. It's football season. We always have people over to watch football and whatnot. And even if it's just Alex and I, we can just gorge out on some slow cooker sausage and cheese dip. I'm wondering, gorge out? Pig out, pig out. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, and then I grabbed some pepperoni. We are out of it. I have a nephew that comes by once a week and he loves two things, actually three, but two of those three things are pepperoni and salami. <laughs> and um, we were out of both of those things yesterday when he was here and I just felt so horrible. So I definitely picked up some pepperoni and then I'll pick up some salami when we go, when I go to Publix. And then this, did you know Kirkland Signature had these caramel some more clusters? Yes, it's like Fanny Mae's cousin. It's, uh, you know, the Aunt Fanny's, well, what's it called? Fanny, Auntie Fans, 
you know, the, some more mix. It's similar to this. Obviously, this is Costco's version of it, and I'm all about it. The kids love it, surprisingly. Well, it's not surprising because it's literally like chocolate and marshmallow and graham crackers. I need to make the healthier version, hence, I got, I picked up some more Catalina Crunch. I love this stuff. I love the Catalina Crunch brand. I've tried the different versions of this cereal and they make other stuff. I don't know. So I'm going to reach out and see, um, like I'm going to search on Google and see where I can get the other things. Cause I heard Lauren Brazy talking about them and I was like, wait, they have other stuff. I had no idea. She's like, yeah, the cereal is my least favorite. And I was like, uh, what? We love the cereal. So I make a kind of some more thing with the Catalina Crunch. You could also use the Grand, the Golden Grams. Those work too, but I feel like the macros on this would be even better. Hey, hey, speaking of macros, um, you guys know I watch a lot of Elise Ellis on Instagram. So she shared this recipe. It's the, she is the founder of Macro Friendly Foods. She makes all the recipes. She's incredible. So that's the meal plan that I'm subscribed to. It costs me $10 a month because I get three months at a time. I have a code for you if you're interested. Uh, because I am a new affiliate to it. So I'll I always leave the link if I ever talk about her recipes or whatever in the description box. But you can get 10% 10 off of your first order. And uh, you have access to literally over 600 recipes on the website. So it is money well spent in my opinion. I love getting the new recipes and it's just great meal inspiration. But anyway, and they're healthier too than, you know, macro friendly. But anyway, also family friendly. I could literally talk about it to ad nauseum and I know I already have, but it's just because I love it so much. And it's not like, ooh, she's talking about it because now she's an affiliate. No, man, I've been talking about it for years. <laughs> Maybe just not as much. Okay, so this is a recipe on her Instagram. So it's free. She shares free recipes too. If you just want to follow her and get the free recipes, you go ahead and do that. It's awesome. And so Chick-fil-A came out with a new sandwich. I don't know what it's called. Honey something chicken. I, we don't eat Chick-fil-A that much. We do, however, when... Yeah, that's right, we take a trip. So we just had one for fun. I had maybe a couple bites of it. it. Wasn't for me, I don't know, it's like too much sauce stuff. I don't like the whole sauce. Alex loved it. So she has a macro-friendly version and it includes these, the Just Bear, um, these aren't the chicken nuggets, they're the fillets. They're like the big sandwich pieces. So I thought, you know what, I'll make him some at home because one sandwich at Chick-fil-A was nearly $8. I wanted to cry. Anyway, I also got these savory Southwest crunch. This is, I make a Southwest crunch salad that's on macro friendly foods too. <laughs> it's like a taco salad. I think I shared something um, in a what's for dinner video. So if you want, you know, something similar uh, and it calls for those like tortilla strips, but those are expensive and they come in a bag with like this many in it. So I figured I'd get this whole bundle and look at that taco salad. Taco is always on our convenience meal rotation because obviously it's convenient, it's easy, and the kids love it, it's a crowd pleaser. And so I figured this will just jazz up that because I always have a salad when we have tacos. Ooh, maybe we'll have tacos tonight. That sounds good. Okay, and that, because I didn't get a chicken. And then I grabbed these bars. I need to really restock upstairs. Our movie bar is completely depleted. I, you know, I kind of lost track. It's probably been a month since I've restocked it. Well, like, since it's been depleted, like, it's been depleted for a month, so... Anyway, so I, I, there's just so much I have to keep up with and I just some things fall to the wayside and that's definitely one of them. It's not even a big deal. So the kids like these, these were on sale, grabbed them. Not much else I can say about that. It's great. Hey, guess what else I got for the movie room? These skinny dip cups, I figured, okay, well we can have some treats up there and then some good treats. So these are the skinny dipped cups. Two grams of sugar per cup. I don't even want to compare it to a Reese's, but I will. Oh my gosh, did someone eat all my Reese's? I will literally cry. Someone came in here and ate all the Reese's. I'm gonna give you one guess on who ate the Reese's. Are they in here? Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we'll never know the difference. <laughs> Two grams of sugar per cup. These actually taste really good. No palm oil, they're gluten-free, individually wrapped. 75% less sugar. Check it, here are the macros, so we can compare and contrast. 
got some sugar in here. We got some protein, bar barely any. Also some fiber. Here are the carbs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I got one for the movie room and then one for mom. These weren't on sale, but our last bag, oh my gosh, we just went through them so fast when we had guests over there like, wow, these are really good. I was like, yeah, I know. Keep your grubby paws off of them, man. They're not, a, they're not cheap. Anyway, I digress. I got some butter because it's almost baking season and stuff. I got vanilla yogurt because the kids just love to eat yogurt and they love the vanilla variety. I got heavy cream and I got half and half because that's right, it's almost bacon season and bacon season? <laughs> bacon and baking. Uh, two in the same. I just always like having these in my fridge because you never know when you're gonna need some. Also, when you make your own pasta sauce, a white sauce-ish, that those are great to have. Okay, and for the movie room, I also got these. I don't, I don't buy these often. I don't even know if my kids really enjoy them, but we have a lot of extra kids come over and, you know, come and snack and play and all that good stuff. So I figured, why not? I'll just. Uh, I'll see, I'll see if it sticks, you know? Hey, something else that was new that I hadn't seen before, it might not be new, but it's new to me, peanut butter chocolate mix. What got me, I can't eat this, okay? Because it reminds me of a peanut butter trail mix that I had when I was pregnant with, I wanna say Eleanor, and I ate some, and then I got sick, like hospital sick, throw up every 10 set, like clockwork. It was 10 minutes throwing up. Oh gosh, it was miserable. So now just the look of this makes me want to throw up. I can't even open it to smell it. I do like peanut butter still, but I, I don't know. It might just be those chocolate chips with the peanuts and I just, I, something about it isn't hitting it for me, but I knew it would be right up Alex's alley and the kids too. They have the little Reese's cups in there. Do you see them? They're just so darling. So I don't know, I thought he might like that and the kids might like it, so I got it for him. It's the first time I saw it, so fun. And then I got these, so I don't know if this is different than the other ones that they sold. The These have 20 grams of protein, they're the Chobani Complete. I don't have any of the other ones because we drank all of them, so I can't compare. I don't know if they just redid the packaging or what, but you get four mixed berry and then four strawberry cream Interesting, yeah, I don't know. And um, only natural ingredients. I do like that there's zero grams of added sugar and then it has three grams of fiber and then the protein alone is fantastic. And the kids love their yogurt and I love that Chobani brand, the zero sugar added is now at Costco so that made me really happy. They have mixed berry, blueberry, vanilla, and strawberry. Vanilla, strawberry, and mixed berry. That's like top tier. Blueberry, least favorite in the house, but it gets eaten because there's only four of them in here. And I do like the Chobani brand over the Okinaw brand. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't even know how it's spelled, but that brand with the black box is what I normally get. Comes with two more. This was on sale this month. That one was not. That's why I grabbed this one. But also it's because it's the first time I saw it at Costco and we love Chobani. Okay, we're gonna compare and contrast, see if the kids like this one even more. Mashed potatoes, and they had loaded mashed potatoes. If you saw my shop with me, I got a sample of them and they were fantastic. It was so dang good, but they were pricey. Um, and Meredith really just likes plain potatoes. I tried to give her garlic mashed potatoes the other day and uh, she was not having it. She definitely noticed the very subtle garlic flavor difference <laughs> and I was like, okay, never again, never again. I also picked up a couple of these. Oh, this is why Alex thought this was the best haul ever. This treat, um, Wentworth was talking about these the other day. He's like, why don't you ever buy those anymore? And I said, well, son, because it's nothing but sugar. It's literally a treat. So these will go up in the movie room too. It's also a great option when you're running out the door in the morning just to get something in their bellies. Listen, breakfast and dessert, there is no other meals that are similar. You know what I mean? Like you can eat a croissant for breakfast and it's completely acceptable. I guess you can eat one for lunch if you throw some lunch meat in there too or a chicken salad or whatever the heck you wanna add in there. But a crepe, chocolate crepe for breakfast, come on! It's French approved. I remember eating one in France. Oh my gosh, I felt like a movie star. It was fantastic. That's a core memory right there and it was as delicious as I thought it would be in my mind. Hey, speaking of chocolate, we're running low. So I did grab this humongous bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. The kids were doing something. Oh, oh, that's right. We were on 
our trip, that's right. And we were doing the waffle bar and the kids were like, these chocolate chips taste so much better. <laughs> like everything is better when you're on a trip, right? And I was like, they taste the same as the ones we have at home. Oh, the chocolate chips at home, you know, you know that whole thing. Like when mom says, oh, we have dinner at home and then the dinner at home. Anyway, um, so I got the huge bag of chocolate chips. Baking season is coming and plus we are out of chocolate chips. It's so bizarre and you can't beat this price for the amount that you get in here. You get four and a half pounds of chocolate chips. So thought that was incredible. And then again, I just like to have these on hand. The kids like to make quesadillas and taco night and all that good stuff. So I always get these flour tortillas. There's two 19 count packages in there. And then I like the carb balance ones. It's nearly half the carbs as a normal tortilla. So 70 calories, oh, half the carbs. I meant half the calories, 140 in this one, 70 in this one, five grams of protein. This one has three grams of protein, less than one gram of fiber in this one. And this one has 15 grams of fiber and 19 carbs. So you're supposed to subtract the fiber from the carbs and that's the total carb in this. So four grams of carbs versus 20 grams in a normal tortilla. And you know, I'm sure it's like full of chemicals. I don't know how they do this stuff, but that's the ingredients list on that one. And this is the ingredient list on this one. So it's, you know, it's one in the same. It's pick your poison kind of thing. And that's what I did. Hey, I didn't even finish sharing the fruits with you. Okay, these are for the movie room and kids lunches. They love these things. Still the probiotic strawberry, they taste like little gummies. I think they're great. Two billion probiotic cultures. I don't know how they keep track of that. I don't know. How they count it, but I trust them, okay? Just like the guy at Costco today trusted that my receipt had everything on it <laughs> because it was so long and everything was so crammed in the pack. He's like, I can't even count. He's like, just, I said, you trust me? He said, yeah. Okay. I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> Three grams of fiber, no artificial ingredients. And like, how can you say no to that? 30 packs in there? Just a great treat. I'm glad the kids like it. It's like a healthier snack, you know? Okay, another reason why Alex said this was his favorite haul is because I got his favorite pastries, his and mine alike. Little did he know, I wanted to put one pack in the freezer because I don't want to eat them all in one fell swoop, but we already ate through one and a half. We shared some with a neighbor, with a friend, and uh, but mostly Alex and I ate them and Wolfgang too. Well, he just had a little nibble. Anyway, this is the almond pastry. Oh my heck, I could cry. These are so good. I can't buy them all the time. And it's buy two for that price. I don't know. Better than going to a bakery, I'll tell you that, because they're right in, at your fingertips, right at home. You don't have to drive anywhere, but you do have to use a little self-control and not eat all eight in one fell swoop, so there's that. Definitely delicious, but you need some self-control with that or a lot of people to share them with. I got these panko shrimps for Wentworth. He loves shrimp. I shared the shrimp story in my, not the shrimp story, the when we were on our trip. That's right. We had an all you can eat experience and Wentworth was saying some funny stuff and it's just a moment that I wish I could remember forever. He was like, he, he had I don't know, ate seven plates of shrimp. And I was like, buddy, like, wow. And he said at his final plate, he's like, okay, I'm done. I'm so full, I could throw up. <laughs> and we were all like, you scammed him, Wentworth. You scammed him, well done. Because it's, I mean, it, it's an inside joke, I guess. I have to explain the whole thing, but I won't. But just know that it's an inside joke and that's a little thing. I tell my kids, like, you don't have to eat everything you know, just try to limit yourself. It's just options, more options. And uh, anyway, Wentworth just was having a field day and it made us laugh. And when we were walking to the car, he's like, I need to sit. <laughs> like, are you really going to throw up? Oh, it was a fun time, but I got him some shrimp. I actually spent an arm and a leg on that, so he better appreciate it. He loves shrimp. He's my only seafood lover out of the kids. The other kids will tolerate salmon and maybe a couple other things, but he likes a lot more seafood. Okay, I also grabbed this for, you guessed it, the movie room. My 30 full-size snacks. Snickers bars, Twix, Milky Way, M&Ms. Easy to display. Oh, comes in a little box and everything. I'm going to put these in the movie room, but I'm gonna have to figure out a way to like isolate them and not have them open to the public because I know these are the first things to go. I don't know. We'll think of it our next movie night, our next family movie night. I'll put those out and it'll be a special treat. Speaking of special treats, I got these Tates. 
bake shop cookies. I wanted to make Ina Gardens like, I don't know what it's called, refrigerated icebox cake or whatever again, because it was a hit. It was moussey and delicious. Alex loved it and he requested me to make it again, which is bizarre. He doesn't typically do that. So this time around, I'm gonna make it with the Tate's cookies, even though he said get the brownie brittle. I couldn't find brownie brittle today and brownie brittle at Target is like $7 for a bag this big. So I'm getting the Tate's cookies and then I saw that they had the limited edition pumpkin spice ones and I don't, particularly enjoy like the whole pumpkin spice everything, but Avelina does, so I got those mostly for her. And then I grabbed, did I show you the mangoes? We got mangoes over here. They're hard as rocks, but we got them. I don't know, my kids love mangoes and they're normally really expensive, but Costco has them for a decent deal. But um, they were really hard and they were really hard last time, so I just thought, well, I guess they'll soften up at home and then these i like to get these mostly for wolfgang and i talked about them in a recent vlog and they do sell them on thrive market that's where we got the berry ones because i added them to my thrive cart and um they're the yogurt melts but these are with the coconut so they're coconut they're dairy free gluten free all the good stuff sugar free and you get four pouches in here which i think is fantastic so i doubled up on it Fantastic for the price. I like the brand, I think it's great, and I was surprised to see these at Costco. I was pleasantly surprised and happy to see them at my local Costco. And then again, for the movie room, or I'll save it for another time. I don't know what I'm gonna all put up there, but this is one of Eleanor's favorite things to put in her lunchbox as like a special treat. There's 20 in here, and they're the crispy, creamy chocolate bar. It's the Kinder Buenos. And I don't know, like I used to be all into the Kinder brand. We lived in Europe for a couple of years, a few years, and Kinder was everywhere. And I wish more than anything, we went through Nutella jars like it was nothing, you know, because back then, like, I ate it like pudding, you know what I mean? I had less self-control back then and also didn't care. It was way before I had kids. And I, I wish I would have saved all of the Nutella jars because they're so cute. They come in, like, glass jars. I don't know. Everything is better in Europe. I kind of want to go back. Hopefully, that's our trip next year. We're saving up. It's either that or a pool, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, so much to think about. But next year is coming like that. It's already almost October. It's basically October. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, it hurts my heart to think about. Okay. So I also grabbed one box of these sous vide egg bites. Wolfgang likes them. It's an easy, convenient meal in the morning when Wolfgang, I swear, my kids during the week don't wake up. I'm like, it's school time. Come on guys. And I'm like doing my song and dance trying to get them up. No one budges. Weekends, 5 a.m. I'm like, really? 5 a.m. and we keep them up later? That's right, that's, that's our fault. It is on us that we do, it's a mistake. It's a very big mistake that we made. We're like, oh, movie night, We're, they're gonna stay up later and sleep in. No, it never happens, it never happens. Every Saturday, Sunday, 5 a.m. wake up call. I'm like, are you serious? Anyway, so when I'm a mombie in the morning, this is just easy for me to like feed him. Woo! All right, I also got some of these. They're my kids' favorites. You guys, I went through the Kodiak uh, granola bars. The I've got a whole basket in there of all different, probably eight different types of granola bars. I'm not exaggerating. Kirkland wins every time with my kids. I don't know. That and the Z bars, the brownie Z bars, those, those are top two. Rated top two. Oh, you know what? The Cascadian Farms like those too. But Kirkland... It's high up there, especially for the price. I also, we were depleted with our cheese, so I got some cheese, just the Mexican style blend. And then I got some more cheese. Just love having this for grilled cheese sandwiches or turkey sandwiches, or I guess I don't need to name off all the types of sandwiches that we make. We make sandwiches with these, and I also cut them in quarters. And when I make their uh, like Lunchables for school, I'll pack crackers and then I'll pack, it's like the perfect size for cheese. And so Meredith loves that. And we, so we go through a lot of that. And then Frank's in a blanket. My kids love these things, but they love the ones with the everything but the bagel seasoning on them more. I don't think I have any more of that. It's been a while. So, you know, cause I can obviously put it on myself, but um, I think these are out for football season. And the ones with the everything but the bagel seasoning, I'll be 
I bet we'll see those during the holiday, se the holiday season. They had all the Christmas stuff out today. I also grabbed some eggs, two cartons of eggs because I wanna try to meal prep breakfast for myself. We'll see if it ever happens. I don't know if it will. And then just for after school snacks and stuff, I grabbed some pizzas for everyone really to enjoy. And then for me, mostly for me, I got this baklava. Bring it over here so you can really get a look on it. Well, kind of, I thought the reflection would be better. But the Mediterranean baklava, oh my gosh. They had all their Christmas treats out. They had Christmas everything at Costco. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's so early. They had nothing for Halloween. Close to nothing. Almost nothing. Basically nothing. But they did have this out, so I'm drooling. I also got some croissants. This could be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, okay? And these freeze really well if you want to throw them all in your freezer and then take them out. My favorite way to warm them up and make them feel really fresh is to throw them in like a toaster oven. <gasps> my Oma does that and brings me back to my childhood, just like that. Even though I didn't live with her or live close to her, nowhere near her, completely different states away, like the thousand miles, maybe 4,000, I don't know what's Pennsylvania to Florida. What, well, technically, I don't know. Okay, anyway, that's how she does it with any fresh bread. Just throw it in the freezer, and when you want to take it out, just low, low temperature into a toaster oven. Okay, over here are the pumpkin streusel muffins. So I got the pumpkin streusel muffins and then the chocolate ones. My kids, my gosh. They, it's going to be treat city over here. I don't know what we're going to do. And then I grabbed some Cape Cod chips, mostly because I wanted some. <laughs> And then I grabbed some hippies. These are like a healthier chip, chip puff made of chickpeas, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fiber, and a little bit of good stuff, also a little bit of bad stuff. Can't be all good, can't be all bad, okay? Life's a balance. Life's a dance, you'll learn as you go. Sometimes you'll leave. I gotta get the kids from school. I don't know what's, what I'm doing over here dancing. Dave's Killer Bread, two white breads uh -huh, for the low, low price. Mm -hmm. And then I grabbed this tangle. This is the first Christmas gift. I gotta put this away before I go get the kids. And then some white rice, some white rice. It's pre packaged in a bowl and the kids like to make the lentils but uh sometimes we don't have white rice already cooked and uh all right and then i got a ninja professional blender crushed ice i just got a notification on my phone i bet you alex already left he just left to get the kids i promise i bet you nah he did all right he got the kids he got the kids yeah, he got the hand. And then it's the hustle and bustle for all the after school activities. And Avelina has a volleyball game today down in South Tampa. And it's, oh, it's never ending the hustle and bustle. But that's cool. Okay, I got to put all this stuff away anyway. So the blender, I finally got one, you guys. Finally, finally, it's happened to me right in front of my face. All right, I'll stop. But you know I don't want to. What's that one song where they like, it's a kind of like an R&B rap song but it's there there's a woman in the beginning and she's like da -da. she sings something da -da. really high pitched and it's like that's not it something like I'm gonna think of it I it's been driving me crazy for like a week now and I just can't think of it but uh anyway I don't know how I got off on that I got a blender whoop whoop whoop, whoop. ninja profesh it is not a uh what's the $400 blender I actually forgot a Vitamix it's not a Vitamix it's just normal people would call this a normal blender but it, it was 80 whole dollars actually it was on sale I got it on sale and it makes crushed ice so there you go <laughs> that's all I needed to know it makes smoothies I don't know Avelina needs a blender and we don't have one and the ones that we've always had have been crummy and so I halfway expect this one to also be crummy and part of me just wants to buy the $400 one for Avelina because she's awesome and she deserves it and it's oh it just hurts it's $400 so she might get that for Christmas but can you imagine getting a blender for Christmas like bleh. although I don't know maybe she'll like that man but $400 I just can't and then maybe I'll just get it as a family gift for Christmas but no one else is really going to use it except for Avelina so really she'll know it's her gift you know what I mean and then the other kids are gonna be like oh wow really a blender thanks so much mom and I'll be like oh I know I love blenders too it's a lot to think about but short story long I got a blender over here are the meats I spent about $700 on meats today we got the ground beef 
we've got the chicken thighs. We've got two chicken thighs and we have the, some pot. What's on here? It's not even the good meat. It's the cheap meat. The pork loins. There are four loins in each. Wait, four, two, and two. Just four in all of them. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. But they're the big ones. One loin, I tell you at Publix, is $15, and I'm not exaggerating. One singular loin, and I get four for that price. So it's just bonkers. I need to, I need more loin recipes, okay? And then I got more ground beef. So I got two ground beefs, two chickens, and loins. Awesome! Oh, wow. Like, totally freak me out. I mean, right on. Mm. Mm. Actually, I was leaving Costco today. I got a compliment on my skirt, which I love. Thank you so much. And um, I think she was trying to ask me if I was, if it was a Sally costume. Is that her name from The Nightmare Before Christmas? And then I thought, oh, I guess it does kind of look like that. But it's not. <laughs> Have you guys picked out Halloween costumes yet? We, <laughs> this morning I was talking to the kids and I think we've changed our minds. No more Barbie and Ken and that's a long story. Well, maybe, I don't know. Nothing's out, nothing's in, nothing is set in stone. I haven't bought any costumes yet. I kind of want to go to Halloween City or whatever it's called, Spirit Halloween. You know, the place that moves into all the run down chain stores. <laughs> anyway, I love how they do that. Um, okay, anyway, so I'm making a convenience meal for us. It's like quick, easy. I always have the ingredients on hand to make it. And it is called garlic. What is it called? It's not garlic sugar chicken. What else is in here? Garlic, honey garlic chicken. That's what it's called. Simple ingredients. You need honey. You need brown sugar. You need garlic, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. And that's it. The actual way to cook it probably tastes a lot better than this is you're supposed to like brown the chicken first. Who has time for that? You know what I mean? I mean, if you have the extra time and steps and you want to wash extra dishes, you go ahead and do that. But for me, I don't measure anything. Let's just call it six cloves of garlic, half a cup of honey. Let's do, I probably did half a cup ish of brown sugar. And then, you know, the Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. And I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. And then chicken. And I just plop this right onto the chicken. Sometimes I make, well, all the time I make a vegetable with this, but sometimes I cook the vegetable in the oven. Oh, I did this time too. I made green beans. Sometimes I do Brussels sprouts and then I mix it in with the honey garlic mixture as well. And that's great. Tastes divine. People love roasted veggies. If you've never tried a roasted veggie, sometimes I serve it and people are like, oh my gosh, this is great. What did you put on it? Literally salt and pepper. <laughs> That's it, you people. Um, salt and pepper, a little bit of oil, throw it in your oven. I have a confection oven, so air fryer, if you will. I don't know the difference. My old house had a confection oven too, so it's been a while since I've been without a confection oven, so I don't know if it cooks differently or whatever, but it does make them crispy, the veggies that is. And well, the chicken too, it make, made it nice and golden brown on top. I throw it in my oven 400 or 425, depending on how much time you have slash what you want it to look like. And I cook it just like this. I throw it into the oven, really simple. And I always have the ingredients on hand. That's why I call it a convenience meal, but it doesn't taste like a convenience meal. It tastes like you put a lot of time, energy, and effort into it. It just happens to be really simple. And that's why I love meals like this. I had a, a whole plan of like cleaning out my fridge. I think I'm going to do that today, but I didn't end up doing it all, like the day that I was filming. So sorry, you missed out on that slash I missed out on that. I really need to clean my freezer. It is jam packed full of stuff that I don't even know what's in there. Whenever I need something, I always have to go out to my outside freezer and I'm like, why do I even like, I should be putting the stuff that I need in my inside freezer. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, these are the green beans, salt and pepper, oil, very simple. Throw it into the same oven and everything cooks at the same time. I had leftover rice and bada boom, bada bang. Dinner is done without even putting a lot of thought involved. Zero skill, no skill involved at all in this. Okay, just a minimal effort, maximum results when it comes to this dinner. Any veggies you like, it doesn't even matter. But the chicken, that's the star of the show. Okay, it was a tasty recipe. I got it off YouTube, like, I don't know, years and years ago. It's just one of those dinners that always hits. It always smacks. I don't know. So I'm cutting up this watermelon, seeing if I have anything delicious. 
Meredith always helps me. I love these knives that someone got us off of Amazon. They're fantastic. She loves them. And she, I mean, obviously she loves helping me and I love that she doesn't cut her fingers off in the meantime. So again, not a great watermelon. I don't know. You guys, I do all the tricks. I do all the trades. It's just, does anyone get a good watermelon is my question. Are there good watermelons out there in the world and I'm just missing out? I love a good watermelon. It's very seldom that I actually get one and I don't like it mushy. I don't like it mealy. I don't like it too, uh, what's the word? Not rare. I, <laughs> I, like, I like it when it's firm. Not so, what is it called when produce is ripened? Okay, not, not my thing. I like it rare. Oh, and then I threw together a salad. Delicious. Uh, yes, if I do say so myself. It is my goal, a goal of mine, and happy to report it's been a week since I've done this grocery shopping trip. And what was I going to say? Oh, I've been eating a salad every day. Been eating greens. Who am I? Mm, it's like my old self again. Feels so good. So I'm just throwing the salad together. I had no rhyme or reason. I told you I didn't have any meal plan. Although today I'm like going through and making a grocery list because Wolfgang's birthday party is this weekend and I need to grab a few accoutrements for it. And I'm thinking, wow, I, I want to make X, Y, Z. So it's kind of like a loose meal plan, but not really, but kind of. So anyway, I'm cutting up the salad. Did I take that sticker off? Oh no, that was, that was a piece of mold. Don't worry. I got that. And then there's another sticker. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure I got that. If I didn't, well, everyone survived. Okay. Anyway, celery in a salad. Oh my gosh. Next level brings it up a notch. Celery is so fragrant and so delicious. I often forget how good it is. And I used to eat it every day with hummus. I probably need to start doing that again. And then I eat it, obviously, with buffalo chicken dip, oh, the best. But I throw it into a salad, and it just makes everything come alive. And you can't even really see it. Blends in with the lettuce. And then the peppers, fantastic. I cut them in chunky pieces. Uh, ooh, and uh, I'm sorry, who am I? We had a couple extra people over tonight for dinner and uh, wanted to be a little fancy with my cucumbers. <laughs> and I, you know, made the stripes. And I'm just... Cutting the cucumber, nothing fancy about that, but veggies are always in more impressive when you take the time. Actually, you know what I saw the other day at Home Goods? I was in the checkout lane. You know how they throw all the impulse buys there, and they had a ghost spatula, or maybe not a spatula. Oh, oh, you know, it was a sandwich cutter, like uh, an uncrustable, but in the shape of a ghost. Almost got it, but I didn't. I was like, what am I, what am I gonna use this like once? Anyway. And then they had the little cutters for the vegetables in the shape of ghosts. Ah, I almost got it. And then I thought, I'm probably never going to use this. So I put it back. Anyway, bell pepper, cucumber, celery. I like to throw a red onion and I did cut some up, but I put it on the side because my kids don't love the red onion. They always pick around it. So I figured, well, whatever. So anyway, that's my salad. Nice and easy, simple. It's not fancy. It's not fall-ish. It's not, it's literally the veggies I had. Just eat your veggies, okay? It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. And it tastes good because they're veggies. And veggies make everything taste better. There's the finished chicken. It doesn't look like much, but I promise you, oh my gosh, the sauce, the dripping brown sugar. It is good. And this was the whole spread. Oh, mashed potatoes too, of course, because Meredith all loves her mashed potatoes. And Alex is cutting. Way to go. Anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out, and uh, shopping around with me. I, if you did shop around with me, I don't know. I guess you saw everything that I got. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I've been doing this for like six years. I don't know how to say bye. Bye! <laughs>